You're watching Mark Anthony, the Vegas tourist. I'm Mark Anthony, the Vegas tourist. We are in beautiful Boulder City. We are in the historic Boulder Theater, and I am talking to Fedelina, who is? I'm the director of development for the Damn Short Film Festival. The Damn Short Film Film Festival, what is it? So it is a... Um, International Film Festival right here in Boulder City. It's the largest film festival in Nevada. It's all short films. Um, this year we're screening 133 films over four days, February 7th through the 10th. Um, we got about a thousand submissions this year from all over the world, and it's our 15th year, and yeah, it's amazing. We were talking earlier when I first moved to Las Vegas and to me, Boulder City was that little town out by that slab of concrete. Yeah. Now I'm a tour guide. But anyway, you know, and I heard that, or I saw something that, oh, they have a film festival. Oh, isn't that cute? Some local residents got together, and they, you know. I was totally blown away when I found out that this was, like, one of the top film festivals in the world. Well, it, so, yeah, actually, we're, um, uh, Film Freeway is a, what the website that is kind of the, industry standard for right. submitting your films to film festivals. And we are rated in the top 100 film festivals on that site. So that's over 7,000 film festivals on that site. We are, and that's all from filmmaker reviews for us because that's something we're very, you know, that very focused on is making sure that the, the filmmakers have an amazing experience. Also the audience and just everyone, yes. it's, it's really an, I mean, this town is just perfect for it. All our venues are about less than a minute walk away. Yep. This theater is incredible, a 400 seat theater. It was built in the early 30s and it's the got, it's first, got a history to it. It certainly does. And the, it was the first building in the area to have air conditioning. So, yes. um, and it's currently owned by Desi Arnaz Jr. Yep. Um, so it's it's got a lot of um, great history in this in this building. Now the film festival was began by Lee and Anita Lanier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Why? Because well, so Lee was a uh, animator and um, uh, he had films. He worked on many films, and Lee and Anita would have gone a, kind of gone around the festival circuit. Um, go, going all over, all over the world to different film festivals and they just thought, wow, Boulder City would be a perfect place to have a, a film festival. And they, they also kind of looked at what they liked about film festivals and what they didn't and kind of, um, curated this, this amazing event. The mission is to seek out original, unusual, and entertaining short films. You guys don't seek them out anymore, do you? We there's some there's some that when we um, yeah they just come to us but there are times um, I um, I go out to uh, Palm Springs Short Fest uh, oh, cool so that's like one of the biggest short film festivals um, out in this region at least and um, we kind of scout for films and so we do some scouting and but most of it is just we, what we get submitted and we get some amazing submissions so that's another cool little theater there yes <sighs> yeah the Ca camelot i yeah, think it's called um, yeah uh, again how many different nations are are going to be represented in films here i i don't have a number for you but it, it's um i i would say at, at least 20 wow. yeah i what is a short film okay so we use the um the Academy definition of a short film, which is 40 minutes and under. Um, so that's what we accept. Um, 40 minutes and under. Yes. Okay. But whether it, we can screen something that long is another story. Right. So and actually a, a problem that a lot of filmmakers have is they make their short film too long. Um, so it's the shorter the better when it comes to a short film. And mo um, each program that we um, screen has between three to... 13 at the most uh, short films or music videos. We also have a music video program. And so they're all programmed into one program about an hour long um, by genre. So we have drama, sci-fi, documentary, action, just basically whatever you're into, we've got to program that. So what is the schedule, basically? So it's pretty much 11 to 11 every day. Um, the first two days, we actually start at noon, but 
Saturday, Sunday, 11. Okay. And there's, uh, we have 23 different programs. And if you go to our website, damnshortfilm.org, you'll be able to see. I love see. that. <laughs> That's a cool little name. I love that name. In, in Boulder City, everything's damn, damn this, this damn. damn that. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you like best about it? Um, I, I really enjoy, it's, it, there's, there's so many things. Um, I, I love the filmmaker at the end of each program, all the attending filmmakers, uh, go up on stage and do a Q and a, so they kind of give a little insight into what their film was about. Um, you, we, ha- we have, you know, uh, the audience ask them questions. So Are it's really interesting. Um, I'm a musician and photographer and maybe one day I, I kind of want to produce, um, you want to be some, behind the scenes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So this is your chance to meet, to have. Yeah, now. and it's it's a great time to 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 um to mingle and to network, especially if if you have a project that you're working on, and you need a you know you need a director of photography for you need a editor. Um, right. You you get to see so many short films and meet a lot of the crew from those short films, and then um, you know well, ming- mingle with them. Well, also. Because you're in Boulder City, everyone is here. So the yes. net, so the networking, even for fans, not just exactly, not just people who want to get in the into industry, it, yeah. But 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 for for fans of film, get to meet and mingle easily with exactly yes with, with everyone that's involved. Yep. And the one thing I love about Boulder City is the town gets involved because you guys have events. Outside of the theater. Yes. Your stand. Your office is at the Boulder Dam Hotel. Right. And, you know, and then various restaurants and all that. So, mm-hmm. so people get, you know, they just get to meet everyone. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, and the local community is very supportive. Um, majority of our sponsors are local businesses. When people are here and they don't want to want to go see a film, what else would you recommend they do? Well, just in the vicinity, right across the street from the theater, there's the Dillinger. It's a bar and restaurant. Ah, good food. Yes. And then there's food. also live music Friday and Saturday nights. Um, I do the booking, so uh, <laughs> you, shameless you, plug so there. So you know, yeah. So you um, know that yes. they got good music there. Yeah. And then there's all, like the brew pub right down the street has live music. Um, Jack's Pub has live music. The uh, Backstop has live music. There's... All kinds of little uh, shops, and there's a lot of antique oh, shops. Oh, shopping and, here. And uh, uh, there's this beautiful boutique um, clothing store, um, Cool, that um, I'm going to pretty much my entire outfit during the outfits during the festival is, is from, from there because they have incredible clothes. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> the films, it's really funny because we're using the word film. It's not a film. Still, this is all digital. Yeah. When did this happen? Um, it's it's an industry standard now. Really? Use, yeah. I mean, well, for 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 we have digital cinema uh, projection. Um, I, at least I think okay. most film festivals use that now. Okay. That's kind of the. Um, there's lots of uh, DCP houses that put that together for, for filmmakers and that's what they send to all the, the film festivals and that's how they So they send scream. you a thumb drive and go here. Yes. Yeah, and we put it all on a, on one machine and um, do the wow. projection that way. Wow, that is so cool. Um, were you involved in the pre-screening? Did, have you seen some of these? Yes, um, I, I programmed the music video um, program. Um, I'm a musician myself and what do you I, play? I play keys and I sing. Ooh, okay. Um, and so I... I was an advocate of having a music video program a few years ago. Um, the festival had tried it and didn't get much submission, but I was like, well, hey, I have lots of connections in the music industry. I know off the top of my head I can just program an right. amazing music video program. So we did a, a test of it two, three years ago, and then last year we it was a success, so we've, we've included that. And then um, I also um, watch a few others. I... Um, mostly busy with with other festival production work but um we have a selection committee that's all volunteers that uh watches a certain number of of films 
and rates them for us. And that kind of, we get at least two or three people to watch each film, and that kind of gives us, you know, floats the best ones up to the top. And that's what John, the festival director, programs the rest of the program with. When do you start on next year? Uh, Yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) How many people are you thinking will be here for the film festival? So we had about a little over 4,500 attendees last year. Um, So at least that many. (laughs) And the films are judged by the audience. Yes. Yeah, we do have um, two. uh, We have a we had a um, a dear board member um, that passed away a couple years ago. So we have a um, an award in her honor. It's called the Leslie Page Award um, for Excellence in Filmmaking. So that we actually the board actually chooses um, our favorite film that we think she would, you know, represents um, her her spirit and and all that. And then we have a um, movie magic screen play award Mm -hmm. this year um each year we have a sponsor for our screenplay award and then uh, the rest of the awards are all chosen by the audience and you you um as you walk into the or as you walk out of the theater you get a a poker chip and you pick your favorite film and you put it in the box Mm -hmm. so you pick your one film and that's and then we tally the results off of that okay we are sitting in the Boulder City Theater. This was built in 1931 for, for the Fox Corporation. Like we said earlier, this is the only building that had air conditioning during the building of Hoover Dam. That always surprised I always get that from my guests when I explain that because they're like, I always thought we had air conditioning. <laughs> no. Yeah. This is, this is owned by Desi Arnaz Jr., Little Ricky Ricardo. The actual little Ricky Ricardo. The real one, not the actor. Right. <laughs> However, the... his wife, Miss Amy, went to ballet school with a woman who married the actor who played little Ricky Ricardo. I didn't know that. Didn't you? No. Keith Subador. All right. So this is the 15th annual February 7th through the 10th. Mm-hmm. All right. How do they get a hold of you or how do they get more information for this? So you can, if you want to email me directly, my email is tsvetsvet at uh, damnshortfilm.org. Um, but if you go to the website, damnshortfilm.org, there's a link to um, purchase tickets online. Or you can just purchase tickets when you come to the theater. Um, yeah, I guess the, those are... That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, we'll have all of the links up on the website. Of course, you can leave your comments down below. Follow us on social media because we're going to be here all almost the whole time. Awesome. Yes. I'm so... I'm, There's great parties every day, and uh, it's it's going to be amazing. I love it. I, I am so stoked for it. So, Mark Anthony, The Vegas Tourist, and can you give us your full name? Because I, I'm going to butcher it. Svetolina Stefanova. See you all next time.